All right, Matt Kenseth. Matt Kenseth, our, still our points leader. And he comes in here with a solid third place finish. He drives the number 17 Ford EcoBoost Ford for Roush Fenway Racing. And Matt certainly you battled it and battled it the last couple of days and came away with a with a really good finish and you still got the points lead and talk about that. Yeah, I mean, it was an up and down day for us. We were uh, fortunate to qualify good, and um, the first couple of restarts weren't great, but we finally got our way to the front there. Um, had a good fuel only stop there and, and led a few laps, and then we just got behind in the pits for a little while. We got behind uh, um, that one time, taking more fuel, I guess, than everybody else, and restarted seventh. And it was just hard for me to get going on the bottom, and then um, as soon as we pit under green, the next stop, we caught a yellow, so we uh, got a lap down. So from there, it was kind of a battle back up, but uh, we had the car pretty good there at the end, and, and we were able to make a pretty good charge and uh, salvage a pretty good day out of it. Questions for Matt Kenseth. If you have one, raise your hand, and we will take the question. Any questions downstairs here? Start over here with Mike on the left. Yeah, Matt, can you sum up, um, you know, the the weekend with the with the tire and, and with this uh, race here at Michigan? Uh, did you enjoy racing here on this new, uh, you know, repaved track? And uh, what was your take on the uh, tires? You know, I, I did um, I did enjoy it. It was uh, very difficult at times, especially when you had four new tires on and they were just so hard, and when you had people to the outside and. The groove was narrow, and you didn't have a lot of a lot of air, so it was definitely a challenge, especially on short runs and on uh, on restarts with cold tires. But um, overall, I did a nice job with the track. Um, I don't know, you know, what they'll do next time for tires. It'd be nice to have a little bit more grip when it's cold, but yet um, they did a great job to bring something in here that wouldn't fall apart and that we could uh, that we could race on. So um, overall, I really I really like the track. You know, your hope is that it gets wider. I mean, before you could run anywhere on a racetrack, you know, so your hope is it gets back to that, you know, sooner than later. But overall, I thought it was a it was competitive race and uh, there's a lot of action out there. Let's go press box question for Matt Kenseth, please. That was go, easy. Go ahead, press box. Hey, Ryan, USA Day. Okay, it's working. Um, Matt, you know Dale Jr. really well. Uh, you've known him for several years. What do you think this win means to him? What is it? And and do you see him now emerging kind of as a championship contender because he's been so strong lately and was fairly dominant today? Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it means for him personally. On it, you know, to get that win, but I know that even if he acts like it's not, it's probably a probably a burden. You know, having all your fans, you know, talking about you and you know writing stuff about you and and uh, and not winning. But um, this year, you could see it was going to be a matter of time. I mean, really, they've been the guys all year. That '88 has had a ton of speed in it. They haven't always got the finishes, you know, for circumstances, but they've been uh, battling up there in the top five each and every week. They finished every lap. You could just see it was. Uh, you could see they kept knocking on the door, and um, you know, say they were able to kick it down and uh, dominated the race pretty good. They were really fast all weekend. And um, really happy for him to for him to get that win. And uh, the championship part, I think they're definitely a contender. I mean, they've been they've been right up there in the mix each and every race, no matter uh, you know what what size or shape of racetrack. So I think that uh, they're definitely at this point in the season one of the favorites. All right, let's go to uh, stay up in the press box, please. Go ahead, Monty Dutton, uh, Gaston is it, Matt? How with all the unease in this race and all the changes and the harder tires and all that, was this race? How did it match up? Was it as hard as you and others anticipated to be, or, or did you have an easier time adjusting than you thought? I mean, was it tough because of those changes? Yeah, there was times where it was harder than I thought it was going to be, and there was, you know, less times where it was a little bit better or easier. So it was, uh, it was extremely difficult, especially at least for me on four new tires when they were cold and you're in traffic and on the bottom, and, and really there was only one lane you wanted to be in, uh, especially the way my car drove. So it was, uh, it was it was pretty difficult. I don't think it was easier than what I thought. As soon as they changed the tire, I knew it was going to be a challenge. I think on the other tire, it would have been easier to maneuver around the racetrack, uh, but obviously the tire wasn't wasn't going to hold up. So I think everybody did really good to uh, to fix the situation, give us a little bit of practice, um, you know, and go out there and 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 put on a race.